What's up kids? Welcome to Little Lighters on the Air. Today it is a very, very special edition. Today we're going to celebrate the man of the house. Yes, it's Father's Day. So I want you guys to stop and pause. Look for your daddy right now. Go and give him a hug and say, Daddy, you my superhero. Go do it now, go do it now. I'll wait for you, I'll wait for you. So welcome back. So before we do anything, let us go to a time of praise and worship. Today we have a really, really special guest. Really special. Okay? Okay? Alright, let's go. Show me how to live wherever I go. 
Wow, thank you Joey for the <coughs> I got my voice back. Thank you Joey for the amazing time of praise and worship. I think two songs is too little. Next time we should do more. All right, moving on, we will go directly into our lesson today. But before we start, kids, I have a question for you. Listen carefully, okay? Have you ever been bad? How bad have you been? Have you ever been so bad that you got sent for a timeout? Have you ever been so bad that your parents wouldn't love you anymore? Now, let's look at this Bible story about a father with his two sons. Let's go! Stories of the Bible The Prodigal Son This is Jesus hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, He taught everyone about God's love he healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ah, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. So Jesus told them this story. A man had two sons. The younger son told his father, Um, excuse me? I want my share of your estate now, before you die. Okay. So his father agreed and gave his son his inheritance. A woohoo! A few days later, this younger son packed all his belongings See ya. and moved to a distant land, and there he wasted all his money in wild living. Huh? About the time his money ran out, a great famine swept over the land. Aw, oh, man! and he began to starve. Hey, you! He convinced a local farmer to hire him. Thank you. And the man sent him into his fields to feed the pigs. The young man became so hungry that even the food he was feeding the pigs looked good to him. But no one gave him anything. Finally, he said to himself, at home, even the servants have food enough to spare, and here I'm dying of hunger. I know. I will go home to my father and apologize and ask him to take me on as a servant. So he returned home to his father. And while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to the servants, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet, and kill the calf we have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast, for this son of mine was dead and now has returned to life. He was lost but now he is found. So the party began. Right, yeah! Meanwhile, the older son was in the fields working. When he returned home, he heard music and dancing in the house. Huh? Hey, you! And he asked one of the servants what was going on. Your brother is back, he was told, and your father has killed the fattened calf. We are celebrating because of his safe return. Woohoo! All right! Party time! All right! Yahoo! The older brother was angry and wouldn't go in. His father came out and begged him. Ah, oh, man! But he replied, All these years I've slaved for you and never once refused to do a single thing you told me to. 
And in all that time, you never gave me even one young goat for a feast with my friends. Yet when this son of yours comes back after wasting your money, you celebrate by giving him a great feast. His father said to him, Look, dear son, you have always stayed by me, and everything I have is yours. We had to celebrate this happy day. For your brother was dead and has come back to life. He was lost, but now he is found. Welcome back, kids. So, what do you think about the story? The father really, really, really touched me. Although his son left home, spent all his money and lose everything, he still loved his son and welcomed him back. Now, this father in the story reminds me of our Heavenly Father. He is indeed like the song we sang just now, a good, good father. That's right, he loves us so much even though that sometimes we may sin, we may run away, we may even forget about him like the sun. Alright, it, it doesn't matter if you are good like the first son or you are bad like the younger son. He will still love you. Alright, you have my promise. God will still love you. Okay, you need to understand that he loves you and he will always wait for you to come back to him if you wander away. He will never ever leave you. Okay, today we have a special video about Father's Day for you. The Nguyen's, the Nguyen's family interviewed their father and shared their interview with us. Let's watch. When you were a kid, what did you want to do for a living? I actually wanted to be a cardiologist, a heart doctor, until I was in university and realized it was going to be really, really hard for me to do it. So then I changed. Dad, what makes you happy? I am happy when I get to spend time with my family. What do you like most about being a dad? I like having fun and laughing with my kids. What do you like least about being a dad? When they disobey and I have to disobey. Why did you marry my mother? Because I love her and I I couldn't imagine living life without her. How do you make you happy What makes me happy? Being with you. I love you. Thank you, Nguyen's family. I really enjoyed the interview. It was so sweet and so cute to watch. Now, we cannot possibly end this week's service without making a cut for our father, right? So, teacher Erica specially prepared a tutorial for us to teach us how to make this Father's Day card. Okay, now you have two minutes. You will need paper. Okay, you can use black or blue, any color your father prefers. Okay, um, small round shape to make the buttons and scissors and glue. Okay? You have two minutes. See you later.
Today we're gonna make a Father's Day tuxedo cut so it looks like this so let's get a white A4 paper and we fold into half then we cut it up according to the line and it looks like this and then we just need half of the A4 paper next we prepare another colour also same size as this white paper so if you don't have black you can use any color that you have so teacher will use a light blue color so both of that paper are actually same size okay so we fold them into half so we first we fold the blue color paper into half paper so the white paper will be inserted inside then we need to glue it we glue at the back of the card only so the front part we don't glue it first. So we apply some glue. the back part is stick together so the front part we don't glue it first so right now we take out the scissors take out the scissors so the front part we need to cut a little bit okay to make the collar a v-shaped collar so we cut Too long and not too short. Okay. And then we take one part of it and we fold. Same goes to another part. Now you can see a V shape. V shape. Next, we glue it. Now we can glue it together after you cut the V shape color. There's extra part, it's okay, we can trim it. So now let's make the buttons. So we can pick another color. And then you prepare a pencil. And you can use 5 cent. Because we need a round shape that looks like this. So if you couldn't find coins or find some at your home, you can just draw it, okay? So now let's trace it. After that, we cut it. Cut it out so much. So you can cut more 
now we let the bowl tight. So I prepare. You can take out a red color paper, a stripe like this. And this is too long, so we just cut shorten. Okay, so these two tips at the end we need to stick it together. That looks like a ring. Okay, so we stick the two ends together. And now we pinch it down. So as you can see that this is a shorter bow tie. If you want longer, you can use a longer stripe just now. So right now, we can draw it. You can straight away cut it. If you are not confident, you can draw it like teacher. So we should draw a V shape to make it a bow tie. Fold it at the back. So here's the bow tie. So we can make it upright a little bit. Make it a pretty bow tie instead of a flat one. Once you have done, now we just take it on our way cut. A bigger bow tie, you can make it a larger one. It now, let's take a pen or a color pencil or crayon and write something. Teacher Erica, kids, remember after you are done making this card, remember to give this to your father, okay, and thank him for all that he has done for you. To all the fathers watching our service today, happy Father's Day! Okay, kids, that is the end of today's service. Have a great time with your father this week. I will see you next week. Bye!